Dad gum, diddly gum. I thought that was going to be a better burp. Instead, it just had a lot of acidy feel to it, so it felt gross. I'm sad now. It's all your fault. Welcome back, guys. We're here. Nah, we're not. Ugh. This episode doesn't start for another three minutes. Says who, huh? That timer at the bottom. Fuck. I hate that you're right. I can't do anything about it, though. Like, I'm not the one that's in control of the time. You are. You're the that's time cool. master. The task master? The task master. You're the one that creates all of my tasks. What's over here, huh? Oh, nothing good. What's over here? Oh, that's also nothing very good. Yep. The task master seems like he's kind of a dweeb. He is. But he's a good kind of dweeb. Uh, fun fact, so like, his whole thing is being able to like, copy the thing that people, like superheroes do and things like that. Uh, there was a really neat scene in uh, one of the, the Deadpool comics where <laughs> Deadpool is so sure that he can win that he ties his legs and hands together and only puts a pole in between his hands while uh, the Taskmaster has all his arsenal. Yeah, his whole full mobility all this shit. Uh, Taskmaster still loses to Deadpool being completely tied up because... Yeah, that happened. <laughs> because he uh, just can't copy Deadpool's movements at all. Because head empty, no thoughts, literally. Okay, that happened. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really, really interesting. Him him fighting as like uh, Spider-Man, one of my, uh, my favorite copied fights. That's in the new Spider-Man game too. Yeah, it's as good a, as a little uh, a little a, a bonus. It's good. It's doing good. the shit. Oh shit! Doing the drone, the drone stuff. Yeah, Taskmaster is uh, one of my favorites. Still, not really talked about heroes. I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we're counting, like, heroes and villains as, like, favorite comic book characters, I think it's still, like, Deadpool, Magneto, and Doom for me. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. I mean, the Fantastic Four suck ass, but Doctor Doom is great. Like, Reed Richards is the bigger bad guy than Doctor Doom could ever be. <laughs> like, yeah. Dr. Doom technically sold the love of his life by, you know, selling her soul to Satan and using her skin as a suit. Nice. Yeah, that did happen. I ain't trying to say that didn't happen. But... You're gonna get bodied by crates. Yeah. Yeah. But, he's a better leader. He has a lot of redeeming things, and that, that being the worst thing that he's done, Reed Richards has wiped out multiverses. Has led to the extinction of many heroes. And he did it all because uh, he wanted to spare his mother an afterlife of uh, hell. That's what it was, if I remember right. So he went to hell itself to beat the piss out of Satan to get his mom out of hell. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Doctor Doom is a great character. And not a bad guy, unlike Reed Richards, who's a piece of shit. Lied to his closest friends and then manipulated things to work out in his favor in every case that he's in. And not just like in his favor to where it would be like, I don't know, a reasonable thing. But like in his favor enough to where yeah, he's, he's the bad guy. I'll, I'll stand by it. Reed Richards is always the bad guy and nothing can change that. He's a piece of shit. Fuck Mr. Fantastic. The only... Uh, oh, I was rereading some of the, like, the, the Fantastic Four that, like, I do, mm -hmm. like, acknowledge and like. And there's a part where, uh, one of the stories where, uh, Johnny dies, the, the Human Torch, and, uh, the Thing has, like, a very... Johnny's story. Yeah. Uh, he has a very, like, hard grieving process because he dies, like, right in front of him, sacrificing himself for, like, the squad and all that stuff. And, like, it comes to, like, Hulk... And, um... Oh, who was it? I think it was, like, Hulk and Thor. Something like that. To, like, meet with him and, like... 
just beat the shit out of him to get grief out. Like, the, the thing fighting both of them just because he's so frustrated. And it's just, oh man, it's so good. It's so good. The, the Fantastic Four don't deserve the Thing or Johnny Storm on their team. The Invisible Woman and Reed, yeah, they can, they deserve each other. They're both shitty. It's... <laughs> Main, main thing, fuck Reed Richards. Fuck that guy. He has a, I don't know, I don't know if you know this, Brady. He has this thing called the Council of Reed. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, you, you know, fucking, the, the whole Rick and Morty, uh, Council of Rick bullshit. Yeah. It's like, that's, I, I am, like, a hundred percent sure that's where they get the, the Council of Rick thing from, is the, the, <laughs> The Council of Reed. It would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking... But even then... I mean, isn't the guy that made it Big Comic Book Man? Uh, I think so. I, I can't really so. remember. I, I only know I know he nerd. He nerd, yes. He nerd. It would make sense because Council of... Rick, Council of Reed, all that shit. Fuck, fuck Reed Richards. It's not even cool as the Rick Sanchez. At least the council of Rick had Rick from Rick and Morty. This is just a bunch of lame ass fucking Reed How Richard. I know. Ugh. It's it's tough. I think De I think Deadpool will always be like my favorite, but Magneto and uh, Doctor Doom are close. Then there's Deathstroke. And I mean That was weird. <laughs> yeah. And who can really hate on, like, Spider-Man? Let's be honest. He's just a kid from New York. From New York! Concrete New jungle York. where dreams are made of poo! There's nothing you can do! Wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow. wow. Incredible. You watch the Daredevil stuff on Netflix, right? No. Ah, oh, man. The fuck is that? Moss baby? Oh no! We weren't expecting special... Special forces. <laughs> yeah, get that fucked. Was odd. That was yeah, That was, <laughs> that was an, an odd, odd animation. Very weird animation. Oh, is there gonna be uh, barrels? Oh man, who would've thought? Games like here have have your have your mask friend back. You're gonna need him. We're gonna throw fucking barrels at you, you piece of shit. Donkey Kong clone. Yeah, honestly. SM head my age. <laughs> it just floated, yep. went to the side and exploded. Love it. The, the good old float and explode. The float and explode, as the kids would call it. Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be barrels. Who is the? Who was the guy that got, like, a butt-ton of, uh, high scores in, like, Donkey Kong and then had, like, a hissy fit? Jeff Bezos? Well, like, it was found out that he was cheating or something. Or, like, that he got his score beat and, like, he just had a mental breakdown over it. Ah! Yeah, like, some some old 80s boomer gamer. That, fuck that. Yeah, not a fan. A uh, Dream? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 Dream from the Dream SMP. Oh. What a fucking... Oh, that... I have some choice words about that design. That was... That was butthole design. That's what that was. You're a butthole, whoever designed this level. Come on, New York! Where's our public transit? You know, like I want, I want a monorail system stretching from, like, the east to the west coast, and have it be like really just well made. We don't, we don't have to have like buses that go everywhere. We can just have one gigantic train that stops in major locations all Big over train. the U.S. Yeah, make it super fast too. We have the technology. A U.S. Look at, monorail, look at Japan. yeah, a the U.S. Bullet train, a U.S. monorail bullet train type situation would be the best thing for literally everyone. Bring, bring back the uh, the trains. Yeah, sorry, we'd have to increase your tax by eight million dollars an hour. Yeah, right. 
Well, it's like uh, solar roadways. Taxes are now an hour hourly rate. Solar roadways should have been a, a thing forever ago, but we live in an archaic time. Solo roadway? What do you mean? So, like, there was um work being done on the idea of solar roadways. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a fool. I thought you said solo roadway. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, solar, you, yeah. You, you've heard of solar. Yep, I know. Yeah. Like, if anyone's wondering, they were going to replace, like, major highways and, like, uh, places in, like, Texas especially. We're going to get these, uh, like, solar panels for... Like, durable solar panels. Yeah, for the roadways instead of just paving it over because up up in, like... paving it yeah. time to time to time to time. Yeah. Instead, you can just set it up so that there's, um, just an everlasting... Fuck me. An everlasting... An everlasting fuck me. <laughs> Uh, fucking bitch. I can't think and talk. I got you. Um, um, I have some questions. Yeah, yeah, honestly. All right. Fuck Great, me. but you missed zero crates. Yeah. Do better. Oh, I died. Oh. Nearly perfect, but you died. She's mad. She's mad. She's angry. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're like octagon, uh, solar, like super, super durable solar panels were supposed to pla place down on the roads, and uh, in places like the north where you get snow, they naturally collect the sun a lot better, so they would act as like a defrosting type mechanic. Yeah, so there'd be no, there'd be no need. This guy's fucking shooting at you. Yeah, he is. He has a literal gun. Yeah, he has an actual gun. Uh, there'd be no need for like, <clears throat> which is why they didn't do it. Yeah, it would. Uh, it would kill the business around here. Okay. Yep. Kill the plowing. Uh, and like, it would create a lot of non-privatized uh, electric energy for like Texas and shit like that. And as we can see by Texas right now, they're totally fine on their own, and they never lose power. They don't know how to manage their energy. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That was close. Not a fan. Uh, yeah, it, it, would, it would basically solve a majority of the problems in terms of an energy crisis and in terms of keeping our roadways more secure and out of line cover, but okay. Uh, instead of... It would be like... In terms of workforce, the second coming of, like, the railroad. Because we would have a whole new form of, uh, like, work just Road to do. Just put up. Yeah. Okay. I'm a fool. Uh. And you would have to keep people employed to upkeep. Because, of course, the, <laughs> the octagonal pieces are going to need replacing sometimes. <gasps> Car accidents and whatnot. Yeah. But, for the most part, it would be easier to maintain... It would provide a reliable source of energy for the surrounding areas, and at night it would be easier to see where the lines are in terms of, like, safety and shit. All in all, it just, it would have been a better future for everyone involved, and it would have created millions of jobs for America, but instead well, let's build a wall. What about blue collar guys yeah, what, that what, need to fix the road? What, what, what about the idiots that don't have any real skills? <laughs> That just like to stand on the side of the road and make bank. What because. about us working boat? What about what about the people that were cops and want to just stand on the side of construction sites making like triple their, their amount that they made when they were working? What about them, huh? What about their needs, Brady? You don't think about what they need, do you? Goddamn liberal. I was scared for a second there. Yeah, fuck you, Pinstripe. Pinstripe Patui. But yeah, that would have been that would have been uh it's still kind of I guess up in the air, but I don't know, the infrastructure of America would be a lot better if yeah, we had yeah. a entire roadways made of just solar panels. It would look fucking futuristic as hell too. And you know what? You could run the cross country monorail line next to it and use that to power it. Exactly. Win-win. One hand feeds the other type shit. You had to say something. 
I, you had to make noises. It looked like you were falling you off. You had to make noises. Good, I'll keep doing it. All right, keep making noises then. Yep, I'll wait you up there. All right, let's make noise. Come on. Let's hear it. Oh, God. Oh, God, the game. <laughs> the game. Whoa. The game, like, actually Whoa. just started freaking out when you did that. Yeah, no, I wasn't expecting. I'm, I'm, You're cursing it, My voice it, yeah. is fucking powerful. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> this, honestly... It's less frustrating dying like this than it is to play this level how it's supposed to be played. Cause, here, you know what, I'll, I'll, I, I hope that whoever made this, I hope you're living a terrible life. I hope that like your wife left you or some dumb shit. I hope you woke up one day and realized that your penis got smaller. Cause I God, woke up and my penis is smaller. My penis is tinier than it was yesterday. They call me Micro Penis Man. Okay, okay, yeah, ready. Let's get back on the road. Hey there, bud. Oh no, the Minnesota's coming out there, bud. Wow, look at that legend. Absolute legend. He defies gravity. What can I say? He's a beautiful boy. Ah! Ho! Ho ho ho! You... You rat bastard! <laughs> oh my god! Ha ha ha! Ha ha Let me just tell you... <laughs> Mission accomplished. I was going to shit in my pants. Oh hey, we get the diamond this time! Unlike that time we got 39 of 39. Even though we died. What? We didn't die this time. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. It doesn't count if you die in the other one. Yeah. Ugh. We're halfway there. Wah. Whoa, dude. Calm down. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Whoa. Wantman and the Bost. Wantman and the Cross. <laughs> Ant-Man and the Crosbys. <laughs> Okay, so the, the, the difficult level that they added is like this, but all the time. The, the entire level is just like this whole stretch, but overly difficult. They like, they crank this level of difficulty up to like 20. This is the easy one. This is easy. Get the fuck away from me. He's trying to... Dan Schneider, is that you? He's trying to get your feet. Yeah. Your underage feet. No. He, uh, I mean, I'm just glad they finally got him. You know, he's in he's in jail on a, on a stormy island. Being held captive by some weird like, big forehead Dan prisoner, Schneider man. Is in jail? I wish. I mean, he kind of should be. Like. Not really. I, uh, you know, it's, it's debatable. Debatable. I mean, they're just feet. They're just feet. Wasn't there a time on, like, iCarly where there was, like, a nip slip, too? I remember that being, like, at least talked about. I don't. I do not think so. Alright. That just seems like some, some media rumor bullshit. Media. Media. The, the media. The, the media trying to. Yeah, Spencer's nipple came out. It was, oh, thank God. It was glorious. I was hoping you were. Oh, wait. We did see Gibby nipple. Why you, why you I was hoping. I was hoping. I was hopeful, Brady. <laughs> Wasn't there a nip slip on iCarly? Gibby shirtless. Hello. <laughs> oh, from the fucking... From the start. 
all of that. Oh god, this is gonna be a fun one, John. Buckle up, everyone. Oh. Put up a picture of shirtless Gibby to give me uh, re encouragement, John. Just win, forehead! Just win, forehead! Yeah! Hey, you got 73 lives. I'm fine. You died of that enemy? I would sue someone. I don't care who. I'm suing someone. This was a 40 minute episode of dying. Oh, well, a lot of that's going to be sped up. A lot of it. Hell, it might be sped up just to the point before you said, this is a 40 minute episode. You no. say? You say? You say?